Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Experiences with My Father. Except for yet again, um, there's no Theo. And the reason there's no Theo is this is an update to the hairdressing salon, uh, the new hairdressing salon that we're slowly building. Um, nobody's fault, it's just the way things go. Um, excuse my hair, I'm having a bad hair day, I've just literally run in the shower and um, yeah, not really bothered with it. So yeah, hairdressers have bad, bad hair days too. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna go up to the new salon. I'm gonna show you um, what's happened so far and we're going to go through a few bits and bobs and then I'm going to sort of take some bits out, move some bits around um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna sort of show you how we're progressing really with the new salon. Um, got to pick up some stuff from the old salon to take to the new salon uh, and I'll go through what we're doing there. Um, so yeah, that's it really. So, uh, you know, if you want to come and join me, see how we're getting on, see how we're progressing. And uh, yep, hopefully we're not too far away now. We've got the, the plumber's been in. I'll show you what he's done. He's been fantastic actually, really good. Uh, really good lad. Um, we're gonna put his details on the video. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, I'll make sure I know exactly like, all the plumbing bits he does and I can let you know, you know, whether he's also, you know, doing boilers and what have you um, and uh, and the area that he covers. Um, so I can pass those details on to you because he's been really good. Turned up when he said he's going to turn up, does the job, does the job when he says he's going to do the job, how he says he's going to do the job. He's been fantastic. So uh, can't fault him at all. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, we've got the electricians going in well, soon-ish, really. Uh, once I've done the jobs that I've got to do today, that will help me make sure I know exactly where I want the sockets and the power points and what have you, so the electricians know when, uh, not when, sorry, but the electricians know where to put everything. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, you know, hopefully you'll stick around. Um, also, if you're a hairdresser in the Cheltenham area and you're looking to change location, um, looking for something a bit different, um, give, give, you know, hit us up, give us a, give us a chat, you know, contact the salons, comedians, C-H-A-M-E-L-E-O-N-S, hairdressing in Cheltenham, um, our, our number is Cheltenham 514-778, or drop us an email um, if you're interested in looking into joining our team. Um, it's a family business, it's been running since 1985. Uh, we were at the, um, top end of town for a little while in an area called Cambry Place. We were there for 10 years uh, and then we moved to Clarence Street which is our current location um, and we've been there for, it'll be 30 years next year actually, 2025 will be 30 years um, and then we're moving uh, as I say to this new location which is Bath Road um, at the high street end of Bath Road in Cheltenham. So without further ado Let's get on with it. But yeah, as I say, if you're interested in change location, moving somewhere else, different, I, you know, different. Uh, we've got a different philosophy uh, on on the salon thing. Before I get a move on, um, in the sense that you know we understand we're all at work for a very long time. You know, we, we actually spend more time at work on average than we do in our own homes than we do with our own families. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that in mind, why not enjoy it? Why not have a nice environment to work in? to me that makes the most sense so so yeah that's what we aim to you know we want our staff to be happy we want our staff to have a good life uh, from from our work um, and you know obviously that then flows on to the customers and the customers have a great experience as well so yeah that's that's basically our, our little philosophy really um, you know be at work because you enjoy it anyway so I'm gonna get a move on and I'm gonna show you what we've done so far what we're doing where we're going and hopefully a reasonable timeline on when we will actually be in the new location but you know these things happen um, uh, you know things can crop up that you're not expecting so you know there's no definites but we'll see how we go so without further ado let's get a move on he says while nearly breaking something this is so tight where I have to part this do, 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 do. Whee. Another soggy day in Gloucester Sharp. Lovely. So we are here. Busy day in Cheltenham for our Sunday. Anyway, so um, come on camera, work out where I am. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. 
so we are here. Uh, so let me just show you what's going on on the outside. So as you can see, we've got scaffoldings up. So we're sorting out some bits and bobs and what have you with that. These were bright orange, and uh, they're going now to a sort of darker green colour. You can see here, this is, it gives you an idea on what we're going to do. This is going to be the outside, full of the outside of the building, and these are going to be the features, so like the doors, windows. And just above these windows here, you can see that pink, uh -huh, sorry, a bit further up, a bit further up, there you go. This pink bit here, that's also going to go that darker colour as well. Um, so yeah, we're getting on with that. And let me show you the inside and what's going on there. Right, so as is usual with building works, it always looks worse before it looks better. So we've got loads and loads of kit here now. Um, so the plumber, wonderful Jamie, um, as I say, I will give his, his details in the description. He's sunken these pipes into the floor. We're going to find a tile that matches, dig that tile out. And we are going to cover that up. So that will be done. Today, as you can see with these little blue patches are here on the walls, I just want to make sure that I've got that right for the sockets. So we're going to have double sockets going into those with USBs. And then, so the only intention is we're going to have uh, one hairdressing unit there, one hairdressing unit there, one hairdressing unit there, and then one hairdressing unit there. With the idea that we can have storage for trolleys here and what we call a climazone, which is basically a heater to heat up colours and what have you. That's going to go on the wall there and that can use that power source there. And then moving on to the left, this between this pillar and this pillar, um, that is going to be our sort of stock area against that wall. And then in front of that will be the reception. So yeah, slowly moving along with that. And then in the corner here, we have taken off the worktop, redone the pipe work. So Jamie, again, Jamie the plumber, has come along, extended the pipe work here, and these are where the basin's gonna sit. So where this blue frame is on the floor, we're gonna have two basins here, side by side, and then this is gonna be a whole work area, obviously looking a lot nicer than it does now, um, but this is gonna be a whole work area for us to prep. So my job today is gonna to be battening as much as I can across here to support a worktop going across there. Um, so the, the idea is we're going to have a worktop that goes from here right the way across and then underneath the stairs and this will be a working area for us. Uh, that'll just make life a bit easier, a bit more storage. And then I'm going to find some cupboards that will go up here somewhere um, and that will give us even more storage. So that will be good. So that's what we've got on with so far. Um, I've got a stereo fitted now. Uh, that was just to check really that the ceiling speakers that we have in here work and they do. So that's wonderful. And then if we go upstairs, just showing the, you, the, the progressions so far. So if we go upstairs, da, 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 da. so we have pipe work in for the basins here. Uh, so we're gonna have one basin at this location coming at a slight angle. Um, we might have to adjust those pipes a little bit. We will see. But yeah, one basin's coming in there and then we're gonna have uh, probably one, two, three, three hairdressing units, something like that, maybe four. Um, we'll see. So yes, yeah, so that's gotta come off the wall because that's really ugly. So yeah, we've still got some work to do up here, but uh, James put the pipe work through and done a lovely job. And then again, in here, this is going to be the beauty room. So one of my jobs today is to put the beauty room seat together so we can have an idea on what we can do with this. This is obviously where the beauty room seat's gonna go. So we need to have a um, the, the pipe work done, sorry, the electric work done. So that all fits and is all safe. And then through here, um, this is our staff room, which is looking rather rough, but it won't be. This used to have a water uh, heater in it, 
massive water heater. We don't need that nowadays. Uh, we can have individual little hot water heaters per basin, which is far more um, environmentally friendly. It's far more cost effective as well. Um, so we've taken out that. You can see the pipework there going through to next door. And then what it's also done is up here, we have a water heater. Now that was just put in to do the basin in here, in the uh, bathroom, um, which is massive overkill uh, for what it needs. It's massive overkill. So he's actually wired, plumbed that in so that will run the sink in the, sorry, I'll do that. He's plugged that in so that will run the sink in the staff room and the beauty room. Um, so yes, so that's where we're at the moment. Um, in some ways it doesn't look like we've done a lot, but actually, you know, we have got on and done a fair bit, which is good. And sometimes you just need to be here, um, milling around, mooching around, to work out what needs to be done, to be totally honest with you. Um, so today, I brought in a unit. I'm gonna mock up where I think the units are gonna sit. Um, so we got the electrician sorted. And then I'm going to try and put some buttons in for the unit over there. Um, and I think that's me to, oh, and build the little um, sink up in for the beauty therapy. So that's my job pretty much today, I think. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes, see how the time goes. Um, and hopefully I will be victorious. But we'll see. Excuse me. I forgot I should have shaved today. I look rough. I do apologise. do apologise. Didn't make the effort today. Bad jokes. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Upstairs and do some work, yeah? Upstairs done. Um, I'm going to take these bits of wood down to downstairs because that's where we're going to put the buttons on the wall for downstairs. But is it me? That look so much bigger now. So you imagine you, know, you can have a washing machine, tumble dryer there, 
and then we'll get a new kitchen worktop, sort these out, make these look much, much nicer. But yeah, that's to me, that's quite advanced improvement. Retile and what have you. But yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. That's good. So far, so, so, far, so good. So, I'm going to take this lot downstairs and then you're going to join me in the beauty room. Beauty room to be. Let's just plod our way in here. So, this is the beauty room. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to put this sink together, this sink unit together, not properly, not totally, but I'm going to put it together just so we can get an idea of height, size and where it's likely to sit. So let me, oh, you'll see this for the first time. So let's unwrap it and see what we've got. I managed, I did a lot of searching around the old internet to make sure I got the best you know prices, deals, etc. that I could. So uh, if you see anything that you like the look of, and you think, oh yes that looks rather nice, put a comment and I will do my best to find the link for you. So in here obviously Space is at a little bit <clears throat> of a premium. I apologise for the echo. So I had to find a sink that would look the part, do the job, but also be size-wise ideal. And this is what I found. That's good. Pretty much pre made, so a lot of stuff that you buy these days, as we all know. Well, at least on a diet, we all know that as well. Anyway, these days, as we all know, you buy stuff and you usually have to put it together yourself. I do have a lot of fat pack, fat pack, flat pack furniture to. All boxes just in case either things have to go back or you can use it for moving stuff in the cell. So here we go. Nice little unit. So I will ask the beauty therapist how she wants it to be in. It looks quite nice actually on a diagonal but I don't know if that was the packing, that wasn't me. I don't know if that's going to take up too much space. So we will have to have a chat with Janice. See what she says, see if that works for her or not. Right, so this looks like the basin. I'm sure she has some tap as well, but then we'll see. And to get a, as I say, side reference on what's what, I guess this is the bottom. So, I thought this came with a sap and plug and waste, etc. It doesn't look like it does, but that's fine. We can uh, source those. But yes, if I put that in place there, the electricians can see that we can either have it we we can either have it like that or if Janice prefers actually what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo for her. 
or like that. So I've taken some photos to show Janice so she can let me know what she prefers. She knows how she's gonna design this room, uh, how it's gonna work for her. So it makes more sense for me to say to her, which way do you want this in? And then I can let the electricians know which way she wants it in. And we can go from there. So that was quite good. That was quite successful. So we're gonna go downstairs again. And I'm just gonna put this on the side recording me. Um, and I'm just gonna get on with what I'm gonna do. And I'll probably put it on a fast thing so you don't get bored. And yeah, just listen to some music as I'm working away. And then um, I'll get back to you when I'm done. So sit tight and uh, enjoy me in fast speed. Fast speed? Fast times fast? Fast speed? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I mean. Fast forward. That's it. Enjoy me in fast forward. So as you might have guessed, because the clothes are slightly different, um, my battery ran out on the last video, so I didn't manage to finish up. So where are we um, after the last video? So uh, we are downstairs at the moment. So if I swing the camera around, so all these blue bits of tape you can see are gonna be power points. So the ones on the high bit there, that's gonna be for mirrors because the mirrors have got an LED light. Um, we've already got a power point on the wall up here, this one here. That's going to stay because that'll be for the Climazone, which is a heater that we use to heat up colours, speed up colours. And then through here you've got top ones are for the mirrors and the bottom ones are for 
double bank sockets with USB. So as you can tell, we've got to have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 sockets plus USBs along here and five work units. That's the plan there. Um, and then above us here, we've got a blue bit of tape. That is for the power sockets for the hanging TVs that are gonna go for advertising in the windows. It's also gonna be one up here as well. Um, and then this will be uh, retail and reception area. This is where the basins are gonna be and behind the basins, we've got this area here, which is what I've been building and fighting with. So this is, if I use the camera, if I can get the camera to work properly, there we go. Um, so this will all be boxed in. So I've just done some uh, buttons really. So I've got to put another button uh, across from that point there to that point there. And then I'm gonna have a few going across from there and up, sorry, from there across to that one and then down to this one. And then that the idea is that's gonna sort of strengthen that as well. And then probably some under there as well. So that's the plan for that. Um, and then what else have we done? So that's that. And then upstairs, we'll do a quick tour just to finalize on what I've been up to. I have been doing things, I promise. The electrician's coming in soon. Um, the plumber's been in, he's done all the bits I've wanted to do, which I think I've pointed out before. So again, power points for all the units that are gonna come in upstairs. And then we've got um, a little hand dryer that's gonna go on the wall. And yes, that's the mess that I've left in the staff room, but that area there is gonna be all, well, it's all gonna be ripped out and changed. So, so yes, oh, and the sink in the beauty room, <coughs> which might need to be moved around a little bit. I can't remember what Janice said now. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Sorry about the echo. It's weird when buildings don't have stuff in it, they get really echoey. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been up to. We've been painting the outside as well. Um, so we're getting along, we're getting there slowly. Uh, you know, with an idea, hopefully, to be in by uh, late October, early November. Hopefully more October than November. Um, so we are getting there. A few more bits to, be, to do, building units and what have you, but we're getting there slowly but surely, which is great. So yeah, keep posted, keep um, watching see how we're going. Um, I'll put the plumber's details on this video. He's been fabulous, a guy called Jamie Endel. Um, I'll put his details on here for you and I'll find out from him what areas he covers. Um, I think it's all of Gloucestershire. So, uh, but he's great. He's a fabulous, fab fabulous lad. Turned up when he said he was gonna turn up, did the job he said he was gonna do for the price he said he was gonna do it. Brilliant, can't fault the lad at all. So um, yeah, use him. Because if we don't use them, we lose them. Um, so yeah, he's great. And then I've got the electricians coming in soon. They're also fabulous, used them before. Um, so put those. I will put those details on the next video when we've got those electrics in. They're gonna be doing the sockets, more lighting um, and all that sort of stuff. So lots to come along with. Um, so yeah, we're getting there. And then soon to be decorating, which will be exciting. Then we can really see the building take shape. Um, so yeah, if you are a hairdresser in Cheltenham, Gloucester, in Gloucestershire, you want to, you know, try a different salon, come to a different salon, bit of a different sort of scene, drop us a line, drop us a message, email us at Chameleons uh, Hairdressing. And uh, yeah, we're more than, you know, keen to get some new stylists, get some more stylists to join our team. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, utilize this beautiful building when it's done. So thanks ever so, ever so much for watching. I can't speak, it's been a long day. Thanks ever so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Feel free to comment. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Uh, Theo would shoot me if I didn't say that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, hopefully with Theo. You never know. Take care, see you soon. Bye.